So, so you got these 115 and you know, if you can give me like what, what the, what it was about those app, that pile of applications that made you, that elicited the biggest smile and the thing that elicited the biggest groan. Well, it, there are a couple smiles. Um, one of the first smiles is being a, an alumni, as I like to say, of the Efficient Gov Network. Uh, leading the pack was Northeast Ohio again. Uh, Northeast Ohio submitted 39 applications into the program, and that far exceeded any other region of the state. Um, the other thing that really made me smile was the diversity of projects. Again, we had counties leading, schools leading, cities leading, um, county engineers, education service centers, uh, you know, a variety of different types of government entities stepping up and being leaders in the process. And then we also had diversity across technology and administration projects, public safety projects, uh, some of the health and human service agencies did things, um, educational uh, projects. So that spectrum, you know, we like to classify shared services around nine broad themes or nine broad categories, and all of those were represented in the types of projects we saw. I had an initial concern that maybe uh, because of some things that were happening out there either with technology or public safety communication systems or things that we'd see some cookie cutter uh, or you know just an abundance of a certain type of project and we didn't we saw full diversity geographically around the state by type of political subdivision uh, submitting them and by the type of, of project they were pushing forward or the new new efficiency they were trying to gain great and the groans the groans um, <laughs> The, the groans were probably um, that in some cases, I think some people had some really good ideas and they, they missed the mark a little, or the, even some of the projects we funded, the scale isn't big enough. You know, I don't, I, you've heard me talk before, Jill, about thinking big. You know, if you're going to do something, it should be thought about countywide or multiple counties or getting in Cuyahoga County, for the example, trying to get all the cities together. Uh, especially on the technology projects and other things that you can really get to an economy of scale and, and multiple government entities can participate. And yet it would be two two villages and a township trying to get together. And you think, no, it's just not big enough. Mm. You know, that would probably be the groans in some of those cases. But I think that's part of the difficulty of collaboration is finding willing partners. Um, we've talked about it before, having that trust uh, that the more people you get in, you're still going to be able to manage the project, or you're going to have good partners. I think the some of the smaller projects, it was getting to that level that those were the people they trusted, those were the people who they thought had common interest and weren't going to steer the ship away from a common goal. So that was probably the biggest groan. Some of the projects were a little smaller than I would have liked to have seen. 